Hi everybody, welcome back. This is your gear, this is my gear. Now whose gear is it? Nobody knows. This has always been a huge problem in the climbing community. When you go out and meet new friends, by the time you get to the top of the, whatever pitch you're climbing that day, you look like a divorced couple sorting out your assets. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to solve this problem with some simple arts and crafts. So let's hop on top of the table and uh, let's get this episode started. Okay, so before you get started, whenever you're going through all your gear, it's a great idea to go through it, make sure everything's functioning perfectly, all the gates are working, everything. You can see this one, the gate's messed up. If the gate's messed up like this, it's better just to break it and chuck it out. Ugh, damn it. Damn, oh, whatever. And then chuck it out. So, uh, yeah, let's just get started and uh, we'll, we'll get right into this. Okay, so after you checked all your gear, it's time to customize. So the old school method of customization has always been to use colorful electrical tape. You can see here there's blue electrical tape and then red. And uh, if you find some electrical tape at the bottom of a cliff somewhere, it's usually because of that. So the problem with it is it often comes off and then makes a mess that, you know, makes some trash down at the crag or whatever. So I don't really recommend using electrical tape, but that's that's been the kind of the, the, the way to go for a long time. Uh, maybe with something like this, like this nut, if you've got maybe a red strip of electrical tape behind here, it probably would never come off and it would probably hang out there for years and years. But uh, if you're going to color beaners, I think it's way better to use something else. And that is the most accessible thing in your house if you have a mom <laughs> or a wife like I do. It's nail polish. So nail polish, it stays on for years if you get in the right spot. The only way I could tell that one of these beaners aren't mine is because somebody put nail polish all over this one and they color, colored it up like that. Now, I think I just found this at the bottom of the crag. I'm not going to get into the ethics of removing climbing gear. You can leave your opinions down below. But normally, if you leave your gear behind, someone's gonna, someone's probably going to grab it. So and that's called uh, uh, climbing booty. So <laughs> you leave some, if you leave your booty behind, someone will snatch it. So uh, just like this, we're gonna take we can take some uh, good old nail polish, and we just put a little dab right here. Now, when you put add nail polish or whatever you're gonna add, you want to get it somewhere where there's not a lot of wear. You can see here it's shiny because the rope rides on that. So we don't want to polish anything that where it's where it's shiny where there's a lot of wear. It's a good thing to do. A good method of figuring that out is just look at a beaner that's been used a lot, and you can tell where, where it's all scuffed up and marked up. That's not where you want to paint. So you just grab a little nail polish and, oh man, I got on my nail. So as you can see, nail polish is fabulous, but it seems to get everywhere. So uh, if you want something more precise that doesn't get everywhere, you probably want to use this. Yeah, so next best thing is just paint pens. So these things you get super precise. And at the top here it says paint pens. In the back, you have to make sure it says something about how it paints on metal. See, ideal for wood, plastic, uh, metal, and glass. So this is exactly what you want, something like this. And with these, you got a whole bunch of options of what you can pick. And if you don't mind spending, uh, I think these are like 15 bucks. If you don't mind spending 15 bucks on something like that, then, then you can get whatever color you want. It works out great. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's take one of these colors out. I think I'm gonna go with, I like the color green. I think I'm gonna pick the color green and we're gonna work on some of these beaners. Okay, so let's check out how this works out. So, paint pens. I don't know if you have to shake these or not. There's directions there. Before use, hold cap in place and shake. Paint pen, approximately one minute. Remove cap, lightly press tip several times to start paint flowing. Okay, so we shook the paint pen for like one minute. Now it says just to press down seven times, get the paint flowing. Now I'm thinking about where I want to paint and these beaners, they got these cool little groove indents right here. So maybe we just clean that up. I'm sure you want to clean it up first, get nice and clean in there, get all the gunk out of there. I'm lazy right now and this is just a demonstration. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in there and we're just going to fill that up. And if I fill that up with green, it should be super light and visible. Probably would even be able to see it in the dark. So let's, let's check that out. Let's see if we can get that in there. Oh, there we go. That's, that's cool looking. Yeah. Now the tip is a little bit bigger than I'd want. If it was a little bit smaller, it might be 
more precise, but I'm filling up this gap pretty nicely. And just like that, we have a personalized little mark right there. And that would probably last there for a long, long time because there's nothing that's gonna rub into there. Pretty cool. And you could probably get really creative and put initials, or maybe I was I was telling my wife she could probably put some kind of like um, thing that she has a little cricket machine. She could probably make a little like stencil type thing, and then I could put put like maybe even a logo or something. I don't know. I'll play around with it and maybe come up with something pretty cool. Um, so let's talk about don'ts. Obviously, you can use paints and stuff. Um, let's talk about slings first, actually. So slings are another thing that almost everybody has the same thing of. They're most, they're really common. So we could probably, they do sell uh, dye that I don't have that you could use for like ropes and stuff. If you wanted to, let's say you had a rope and that didn't come with a, a midline mark, you could buy a special dye for dyeing the midline mark. And I'm sure you could probably do the same thing with these slings. You could, so you could put your own special dye on there. But another thing we could do is we could just mark uh, right here on this little strap and there's a green little mark there. I know that that one's mine So we could do that and that way we're not compromising or we're not putting any type of weird material on our Obviously, you don't want to mess with putting chemicals or anything on these type of, 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 of Webbing and soft material or anything like that But maybe manufacturers what they should do is they should just make a little checkbox make these with a little checkbox or something and then you can put your own color on there. If you, if anybody's watching this and you make these things, maybe make them with tags where you can put your own color in so you can customize them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously you don't want to paint over anything where it says important information or anything like that, but it's pretty harmless to put it over a tag or something like that. Okay, so like I was saying, the don'ts, the don'ts. So with the climbing gear, some things you don't want to do is etch anything into it. You don't want to scratch something into it because when you're removing material, you're obviously weakening the device or whatever it is. You don't want to die stamp anything. Sometimes you see like little letters or whatever and people hitting things with hammers. <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to be whacking anything, causing any kind of weird micro fractures or whatever. Don't get us anybody in the climbing community started about what that means. So yeah, there's there's also that. So besides that, that's about it. Have fun, create your own little artwork and uh Make your own customized stuff, and that way you don't have to um, sep get your stuff taken <laughs> by accident. You get to the top, and that they have all your gear, and they're like, "Well, uh, I guess I'll just get." How many beaners did you have? And then you have to like figure it out. All right, I'll, I'll pay you. I'll pay you for whatever. I'll just buy. I'll just buy your beaners. <laughs> all right. So to the outro. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed our quick little arts and crafts episode. My wife wanted to let you know that this this color is. Bahama Mama. So uh, just in case you're interested. So anyway, if you have any other questions, let me know. Comments, leave them down below. And uh, Josh Perry, climbing out of here. See you guys next week.